Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a little update -y, video y thing. Um, th this is kind of one big announcement, and then two things that come out of that. So, um, I have finished uh, recording all four of my Let's Plays, um, all four levels of Let's Plays. I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so, a few things that are out of that. Uh, one is I've got a lot more free time because I've finished recording. Um, so my my hope is to actually start streaming regularly. Um, I might, if I've got time, I am going to do it this weekend. Although I've said that to myself every weekend for the last few weeks. So um, may have to say that one with a pinch of salt. Who knows? Uh, the other one is um, if you support me on Patreon, or if you want to support me on Patreon, um, all four poll, all four levels have now got polls at the moment. Uh, so now is a great time to support me if you don't already, because you get to vote on them. Um, different levels access different polls. Level one, you get one poll. Level two, two polls. Level three, three polls. Level four, four polls. And I don't normally talk about the polls elsewhere and say what's on them. Um, you have to actually be on that level. But I thought, because I'm making a video anyway, I may as well make it a decent length and talk about um, the games on each poll level and kind of why maybe they're on-ish. Um, and a little detail about them. Um, just so if you're thinking about voting, you've got some ideas. So, uh, first of all, the level 1 poll. Um, Final Fantasy 7, the original version. I do have the remake, but it, from what I've read about it, it's more a reimagining kind of thing. I thought it'd be good to play the original one. That one's blind. Uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I've played 1, 2, and 3 on the channel, um, but it might be good just to see if there's any changes to Legendary Edition. I don't know if there are. I haven't looked into it. So it'd be kind of blind, but not really. Um, Nox, which is kind of, I think, an action RPG, kind of Diablo style. Um, and then Stardew Valley. Uh, so we'd be starting that again. Um, last time I just did one um, season of it. I'm not entirely sure what conclusion there are. The conclusion there is. I think there's one after three years. We might try and get to that far. Um, there is a comment on the um, on the poll uh, from I think Yelena Zal. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. If it's wrong, I apologise. Who says there's a new update for that? Um, there isn't a date for it, so who knows if that's going to come out. So we could have a look at that. So that's level one. Uh, level two, so this is the one following Pentiment. Um, uh, I think mostly mostly kind of puzzly games. So Day of the Tentacle, um, that one would be blind. I have actually, well, I have seen a Let's Play of it, to be fair. Um, so I know there are tentacles involved, but that's kind of in the title, and that's it. Um... Um, another option, uh, Pillars of the Earth. So that is a kind of puzzly, visual novel-y type thing from what I remember reading but on the blurb for that. Um, based on Ken Follett's novel. So it's Pillars of the Earth, not Pillars of Eternity, if you're, if you're wondering. Uh, Siberia 2 is another option there. Uh, we did Siberia 1 way back many years ago and we'll be uh, dipping back into the series and then on console, X-Men Legends, uh, which isn't blind. Uh, the other three games are, um, but I played it many years, like, I think over a decade ago. Quite a while ago. Um, I didn't know. I, well, I played the opening because I was like trying to see if I could get it to work um, on my previous console setup. But I've got a new console setup, and I think that would be fine. Um, I also want to do it because I've done Let's Plays for... Um, video games beginning with every letter of the alphabet apart from X and Y, and that might be that will, and we'll see Y pop up on an, on another level. Uh, level. So, uh, level two, Day of the Tentacle, Pillars of the Earth, Siberia Two, and X Men Legends. Uh, level three, so that follows Fallout New Vegas. Um, I was asked if Fallout Four would make an appearance after Fallout New Vegas. Well, it's on the poll, so if you want me to do Fallout Four and you want to you want to support me, um, that's a way you can you can get that done. Uh, Sherlock Holmes: The Awakened. This um, that one's the 2023 version. Um, I'm not sure what is different between the two versions, um, so it'll be interesting to see that. Um, 
So you've what what the difference what differences if any there are. Um uh, so that would be kind of blind <laughs> because I don't know if there are any differences. Um or you could vote for in level three, you could vote for Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. I have played one, two, and most of three on the channel, and I've played the Spyro part of the Reignited Trilogy, not hundred percent, um, in the little Uranium Man series where one death switches me around. Um, so that was there. And then East, East 1, which I think is a kind of Japanese action RPG type thing from the 1980s. But they kind of remastered it. Other than that, and the fact it begins with a Y, not entirely sure. Uh, and then finally, the level 4 poll following on from uh, Grim Fandango and then Death and Taxes as a little short one between. Um, the options there, if you want to support me at that level are Middle-Earth, Shadow of Mordor, which is blind, so I'm not sure much about it. I think it's kind of Assassin's Creed-y, like kind of stealthy, stabby, Lord of the Ringsy. y uh, Shadowrun Returns, um, which is an RPG in the Shadowrun's realm. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, uh, another Sherlock Holmes game. That one would be on console, because for some reason, for some bizarre reason, um, the version I have on my computer doesn't work properly. The sound doesn't work, and I've keep try I've kept trying it, and I've given it up, given up on that. So I've got console version, um, and um, yeah, I think I have like tried to do the first um, first mission, um, recording it, and I realised my laptop wasn't good enough, <laughs> which is why Freedom Fighters isn't the best quality um, graphically, um, which because of the way it went through a. A slightly naff laptop, but that worked. Um, but Shevel, uh, Sherlock Holmes: The Devil's Daughter didn't because it's on a more advanced console. And finally, for level four, Spiritfarer. Which, looking at it, um, I don't know. Like, it seems to be a kind of that you're kind. I don't know. I don't know. I think you kind of build things for spirits as you fare them across to wherever they're going. I don't know what the plot is. <laughs> That's what I remember from the blurbs. So those are all the options for all the different polls. Uh, if you do want to support me on Patreon and you want to vote on those, there are links. That there's a link in the description to my Patreon, and I'll probably put a link to my Twitch um, page. So if you want to follow me there for when slash if I start streaming, <laughs> uh, you can have a look then. So. Um, yeah, those, those, that's the kind of big announcement. Loads of polls on Patreon. Um, if you haven't voted and already support me, go and vote. If you don't and you want to, go and vote. If you don't really support me and you want to vote, go and vote. And uh, if you want to follow me on Twitch, um, I will start start streaming, he, he says. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.